All the companies in the world have to face dismissal issues, but each country has its own way to deal with it. For instance, the employment law in France and in the UK is very different. James Davis explains us the main differences. Hello, Mr. Davis. Hello. What is the main difference between France and the UK in case of a dismissal? Well, I think from speaking to my French employment law colleagues, the most important difference is the significance of discrimination claims in uh, British dismissal cases. And I think there are three reasons for this. The first reason is that in order to bring a basic unfair dismissal ca case in the UK, you need to have been employed for two years, whereas in a discrimination case, you can bring it from the first day of employment. The second is the amount of compensation that's available. Um, in a discrimination case, the compensation is unlimited and can be very significant, whereas in an unfair dismissal claim, the compensation is limited. And the third difference is, um, from my own experience impression, I think it's easier for an individual to win a discrimination case in the UK than it is in France. Are there any other differences? Well, an another difference is the role of documents in uh, France and the UK. Um, to the surprise of most French managers, in the UK, employers can access employees' emails, um, generally, um, even those that have been marked private. Another difference with the documents is the employer in the UK has to disclose all documents, even those that are not helpful to the employee's case. And it's a serious matter if the employer doesn't do that. And that can be a surprise to the French managers who are not used to documents that they might have created and which might not help them being disclosed. What about economical dismissal? Is it used the same way in both countries? That, that's a good question because uh, a third important difference is the ease at which employers can make economic dismissals, what we call redundancies in the UK. The courts and tribunals rarely look at the underlying business reasons for the uh, dismissal and the employer can make small changes to a job in order to justify the replacement of one employee by another for economic reasons and that can take a short period of time, perhaps a week, and is a pretty safe way of dismissing somebody. Thank you Mr Davies. Thank you very much. <laughs>